Understanding Bedside Manner, a guide for English learners. Hello and welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting English phrase, bedside manner. This phrase is commonly used in healthcare settings but has broader applications as well. Let's dive in and understand what it means and how you can use it in your daily conversations. The term, bedside manner, refers to the way doctors, nurses, or any healthcare professionals interact and communicate with their patients. It's not just about medical knowledge. It's about how they show empathy, kindness, and understanding. A good bedside manner means the healthcare provider is able to make the patient feel comfortable, respected, and cared for during their treatment. To understand this better, let's look at some examples. Good bedside manner, a doctor who listens attentively to a patient's concerns, explains medical terms in a simple way, and shows empathy towards the patient's situation. Bad bedside manner, a doctor who is rushed, doesn't listen to the patient, uses complicated medical jargon without explaining, and seems indifferent to the patient's emotional state. While bedside manner originates in healthcare, it's also used in other contexts. It can describe how any professional, like a teacher, lawyer, or customer service representative, treats people they work with. For instance, a teacher's bedside manner could be the way they interact with students to make them feel understood and supported. Even if you're not a professional, the concept of bedside manner can be applied in everyday interactions. It's about being empathetic, patient, and clear in communication. Whether you're talking to a friend, family member, or colleague, showing a good bedside manner can make a significant difference in your relationships. Understanding and using the term bedside manner can enrich your English vocabulary and help you in various aspects of life. It's about more than just words. It's about the way we connect and communicate with others. I hope this video helps you grasp this interesting phrase and use it confidently in your conversations. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing your English.